We're here on our first stop uh, on Whatcom Road, just across the border. Uh, this is a calf setup, and uh, we got some calf tail hutches, and we got these pins, uh, and we got food here, and oh, look at this the bucket. So they're feeding. It's a kind of a semi automatic thing. I guess it's a um, feed. These calves look really good, too. Look at that. One's got a little droopy ear, but there's two, four, five, two, four, five to a pin. Oh, look at that along the side there. And here's the barn. We'll just uh, pan around here. And let's go into the, um, the utility room. Look at this. This reflects prosperity. And We'll just take a look at this. Now, this is amazing. Look at this. Look at this system here of water. And let's just keep going. And uh, I don't know what this is. This looks like hot water. Some of them are mixing valves, it looks like. And uh, we come over here to the plate coolers, uh, the controllers. And uh, this is the wash bath. This big thing here is the wash bath, and that fancy. So I wonder where the milking area is. Well, let's take a look at these uh, calf tail pin system. Very interesting. Okay, now we're into the maternity area. Looks like I got a close up, nothing there. I had actually five cows uh, first this morning, so we'll see how many cows they got. One's got a horn here on that, you can see the horn. And uh, these are, these got a ways to go. And there's two, four, six, seven cows there. And there's, oh here's the holding pen, here's the area. Um, let's take a look at this. This is the uh, milking uh, parlor. So let's go up and take a look at this real quick. Looks like a parallel parlor, what, uh, one, two, three, four, five. And so one, two, three, four, it's a, a double 20 parallel. And let's get a view here. Oh yeah, look at all those machines. And we got one raised up here. So it's got a spring. Looks pretty heavy duty. I, I don't want to go under it, just in case something happens. Okay, it's, uh, and then they got a return lane there and a return lane on each side of the parlor. Now, let's go to the hoof trimming shoe. Let's see if this hoof, oh, this is a portable hoof trimming shoe. So it must be a hoof trimmer. It's semi. Take a good look at this. This is a, um, I don't know, not a tip, but this is, this has been used. This must be a hoof trimmer. Okay, we got hool scrapers, and uh, you can see they've, been, uh, they got a slot for the, I have to check out if it's a cable or rope, and we're bedding in sand. It's probably cable. It could be rope. Uh, it looks like cable. It looks like steel cable in there. Um, and here's the, the stalls. It looks really, really comfortable. No brisket board, nothing. Uh, they got quite a few cows here. Oh, look at that. They got an automatic feeder over there. So that's why the collars and the ID, they got an automatic feeder. I haven't seen that in years. 
it looks like there's a new section to the barn, or is this the, is this, this is all new. And they've added on to Hi Arnold. <laughs> Go ahead. This is the old barn. This is the old barn here. Then they build a whole brand new barn. Looks like about a 120 foot new barn on the other side. So this is quite a big operation. We got cows over here in the old part, and um, and and then they got the new part with uh, looks like heifers over there so we'll just keep going around here this is the end of the scrape slot now it's built up here at the very end and then they've washed down so there's a hose to wash down somewhere and then this is a tunnel and uh, here's a, a richy water so that's uh, quite something and they, it's open to the we're looking we're looking to the north right now. There's Abbott's Fork. And here's the Hool. That's a steel cable. Hool drum. Um, it's been in here a while. So, let's move on. Now here's the smaller part. Oh man, look at all this area. And they got lighting up there. Every other one's on right now. And uh, you can see the view here. This is where we first started. And then we'll have to go investigate the calf tails over along that side. This is, oh, and they got an open, look at the, uh, they got a, what, a curtain up there. Very tie up on the vent, the big vent ridge with a curtain, like a four or five foot curtain up there. Maybe, that looks like at least four foot. Isn't that amazing? Wow. This just makes you excited, doesn't it? Uh, I like it, yeah. yeah. He says there's all kinds of American taste. Yeah. Right, right. We... Yeah. We're just looking at the calves in the calf tails there. This is, uh, they're all lined up, so there's quite a few calves. Uh, well, these are all empty. These have been cleaned. And um, there's a little calf. Here we're at our, the second farm on Sand Road. Here's a Bauer pump. Uh, is this a self-prime pump? No, it's not a self-prime that I can see. So, how do they prime it? Well, anyway, there's the pump. Here's some kind of reel for hose, hose reel. That's a three-point hookup, that's big. And uh, look at the, up on the hill there, look at that. And here's the separator. BRU, bedding recovery unit. And here it is. This is a self-contained building in, in a uh, self-contained. Look at that. Don't have to build any unit. It's all self-contained. Looks nice. There's the slurry store. There's a lot of stuff here. Here's uh, part of the barn. Wow, pretty long. We got uh, we got scrapers, little scrapers, and we got some kind of separator. Oh, this is the for the tunnel. 
So, and it goes all the way through. This jump constantly turns, never stops. That's about six foot. Yeah, six foot by six or eight feet, and it's thirty five feet long. It's the whole thing. It's all solid stainless steel. Yeah, stainless steel. The whole thing. The whole, the whole drum. I mean, all the shit in this is all stainless steel. All the bolts and stuff are stainless. All stainless. Wow. And then it comes out the other end and it's cooked. Yeah. It's fully cooked. Fully, it's a complete compost at the other end. It's so ready to use in the stalls. How, how long does it take to get through from this end to that end? Uh, 24 hours. Depends how fast I run it. If I run my separator at full capacity and I'm pushing lots of manure through, I can run it through in five hours. But then it won't be done. They say two hours it'll be completely composted. How many cows? Do you eat with just some squeeze shit to turn the compost in two hours? Do you add something? No, if, if you're keeping your heat. If your heat is there, they're saying it will completely compost. We're not going there, of course, simply because I don't have the cows. To get. This machine here, they say, can do 1,000 cows. I don't have 1,000 cows. We're milking 180 cows. We have 120 mature animals, but we have about 300 head feeding this thing, including our young son. So that's how many cows. It makes its own heat. It makes its own heat, complete own heat. So we don't put no bugs in it, we don't put nothing. It's aerobic digestion. This fan here is sucking the air from the opening across and creating the bugs that do the heating and the constant tumbling of the manure. A lot, a lot so of times down here they got a, they, they build their own electricity in the space. They got yes. The, yeah, um, I that's think there's one down there digest. at Avispor, you should come in that little organic area. Yeah. Yes, they have one of those push style ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is a, uh, a pump and um, it's going, uh, it's agitating and then it goes in and this must feed the unit, I guess. But look at that clean out. It's like a six inch clean out. Okay, that pump I was looking at here at the uh, very end of the uh, collection pit, that's after the water, uh, after it's gone through the recovery unit and it's water, then they pump it into that big slurry store. So that's what that's for. Take a look at the bunker here. They got some tires here, big ones, and then they got that uh, mesh stuff up there. Now, what do you say? He milked 120 cows, and here's his um, equipment for the field. Some tractors just to keep keep everything in order. Yeah, there's that uh, that mesh stuff they put on top. Kind of interesting. Uh, they got a lot of feed here. We're at Keith Wilson Road, and we're looking at obviously the parlor, and there's the front of the building. So let's go in and see what's in here. Okay, we're entering uh, utility. Here's the uh, control panel, and here's the um, generator. Everybody's got to have a generator. Let's go out here, see what we got here. We got a alleyway here. Oh, we got, we got robots. This is where the robots are. Okay. Let's just go and uh, this is a brand new building for the robots. And uh, what do we got here? I guess we can go in. Or can we? I guess. Let's, let's go in. Let's see. Oh, it's got matting on the floor with a chain. So that's a. And uh, let's go across here. It's a Lely, as you can see, and these are all mats, and here we got, looks like the dry cows, but look at that, there's uh, three dry cows on this side, no, three, six, and this, this side's empty, and that's just a, 
utility room. Let's go in here and go to the second robot. So how many times a day do they melt? Yeah, up to them. Huh? It's up to them. Oh. So they can... As they feel like it. But on, What's the but, average? But you can program that if they can't milk more than this many times. And if they're not milking enough, then you'll go to fetch them, bring them, and get them through. So they're aiming for three times a day. And if you go into the reports, you'll see most farms are running around three or even the quarter of four. Now, is there heat in this little building? Or, uh, uh, in this particular one, there's not, but most do have some heat, yeah. In case it gets cold. Oh, here. We, we do get cool in BC, right? <laughs> and you get up, uh, or in Lower Manly, you get up in the interior, we have that heat. On here is the bank, yeah. Look at the yeah, it's not just a little Oh, 
Yeah. You know, it, it was cold for a long time, too. Because it, back when they used to ice skate on the ponds and yeah. stuff. Oh, yeah. And we have not been able to do that in years. No, we no, no way to do it. And I, and I thought, oh, I'll get excited. Well, I got down to, uh, you know, it, was, it was frozen over a little pond. But once it, uh, the temperature goes up to about 25, the earth melts it. So we've had a cold for a long, long time. Yeah. Now, having said that, the record for July, it freezes in July. Until about the twenty fourth of April, if you look over the records, and this is way back when it took it froze. Wow, 1910, 19, you know. So uh, uh, I see it more on the not the high, but on the low. On the low, uh, on the uh, uh, minimum low. There's a maximum minimum, uh, high minimum, low minimum. Yeah, the low temperature, the minimum temperature is usually more. Not, the, the high is, mm, you know, but you, you start looking two, three, four degrees at a time on that low. Oh, that's huge. Oh, I know. Well, anyway, this is, uh... Wow, this is the... Now, did they get fed grain? Yes. It's a green vineyard in front, there's a sheep from there. Okay. Yeah. She's been identified and now. That was awesome. Um, do they feed purple and glycol? Do, do, in, in these robotic milkers, do they feed, or, or can you set it up to feed purple and glycol? I don't know. I saw that at one of them a long time ago, where for 10 days they fed uh, purple and glycol in some kind of mix because it's, uh, they don't like it, but they mixed it up and flavored it. And uh, for the first 10 days after they come fresh. But uh, I think it's expensive, and I don't think a lot of guys do that. And you got an extra tank and all that. But we got a laser chill going there. Yep, locating this. It's quite impressive. <laughs> Set in. Hopefully that works. So we got a hook trimming chute. It looks like these are all one, one big group. We'll have to go investigate the hook trimming chute here in a little bit. The little Juno, yes, a little feed pusher. Let's see, it's got a track, oh yeah, it goes down and it can go both ways at the end of the barn. Yeah, it, it, it needs a little nourishment here. Let's, okay, well, hopefully we can see it in action. And then this is the scraper system. And uh, let's get right here so you can see, uh, you get your, and it's a chain system, and it's actually fairly simple, but you never know. Let's get a view of the barn. Look at the height of that. Look at the freeze span. This is a nice building. Nice building. This is a six-row barn, and looks like they can go anywhere they want. And... Uh, and they're fed on the outside, which is nice, so there's no drive-through. And you got this alley here on the outside, which is covered, by the way. Uh, this is nice. And there's a cow playing with uh, getting, oh, she's having such fun getting brushed off there. Here's the sign what we have. 
J and D uh, Farmers Dairy Services Limited, Rollo Matic Curtains, Northwest Rubber Flooring, James Way Equipment, Y2K Stalls. That's what's here on the farm. Here's the hoof trimming chute. Um, don't know exactly how it works here. Uh, you got to get a cow in there. It looks like gates and stuff, but the. Uh, the hoof trimming chute is, uh, as you can see, uh, it's uh, pretty clean, fairly clean. It's a vertical chute, so, but it's got a lot of stuff on it. It's uh, very simple. It's got electrical cord. Now, what's that for? The electrical cord. Oh, for a hoof trimmer blade. Look at that. Oh, wow, that looks vicious. I've, it's a craftsman. Uh, anyway, that's interesting. This is a view of the Rollomatic curtains. Uh, we got pipe here to protect it from blowing out, and it looks like the, uh, the, it's driven from the middle. So it'd be interesting how that works. This is the uh, drive unit for the curtains. And uh, I don't know if we can see, you can see chain, it's all driven, there's two of them. So the way this works is the top one is half, half the, uh, the depth, I guess, of, of the tube, because when this one is uh, rolling up, it's doing twice as much material, so it'll go twice as fast as the top one, and then at the uh, top, then it'll be all rolled up. Yeah, we'll... Oh, uh, this isn't a very big place. Well, I'm going to send it to Kent. Here we're at the um, milking center, and we'll take a look at the hoof trimming chute. Uh, the hoof trimming chute is fairly clean, but this looks like a sturdy one. So the cows, let's figure this out. The cows got to come in here. Oh, she might be have to be hoof trimmed or something. Let's not break that up. Let's see, the cow was, or was fighting to get in. We are now at the Gibson Road address. I see a hook from and shoot over here, Zimmerman. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it's brand new. Look at that. Never been used. Uh, I can't say that. It looks like it's been used.
Okay, tell, tell me when it, when the one comes off. Now it's got them all on, so it took a little bit, but it. Oh, look at that. That's interesting. Okay, we're at Castleman Road Dairy here in uh, Chilliwack. This looks like a, uh, it's obviously a rotary. Uh, I don't see how many stalls, there's 25. Six. There's at least thirty. So this is the view. Big open barn. Let's just take a view of here. Neck rail. This is one herd. And they got scrapers, looks like it was at one time a flush, now it's alley, alley scrapers. Oh, look at this water. It's about 10 foot long. Wow, this is quite something. And we got a tile with this. Yeah. And look at the stalls. Interesting stalls here. Let's get a close up of those stalls if we can. Just a bar with. And it's got bedding, so they got a bedding master. This is quite an interesting building. It's some kind of uh, fiber. Just a fiber steel structure. Looks pretty simple. With a uh, jump up, up on top. Looks like it's rolled up all the way. Um, and, and these pipe, I like to see a cow get up. See if they bend. Uh, this 
Just a neck rail, nothing fancy. Let's see what that cow's doing here. See if it bends those pipes at all. There's plenty of room. Doesn't hit a thing. Really interesting. Looks really good. Well, yeah, they, they don't lay too bad, in them. No, they they seem to lay pretty straight. I'd and say the bedding is pretty wet. Uh, should be. This is loose pack house I'm running. But this is uh, this looks like a simple setup. At least it keeps warm in here. Here we got a maternity pen. Now there's a, quite a few cows in this pen. Like 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 20, uh, about uh, a little less than 30, around 30. The uh, address of H Farm, so uh, we'll get set up here and uh, see what's here. It's uh, getting dark. Uh, we had to come around the uh, Highway 7 by Agassiz through Mission, so that took a little time. So here we are. I'll just get a picture here. Uh, they, uh, the, the refreshments. The refreshments here. This is this is how to throw a party. The main tank and then the uh, smaller tank. And let's go into the utility room here. Entering the barn. Let's take a look at the little feed pusher. Look at that, it's got its own little name on it. Let's see what it does when it comes to the end. Okay, it's coming towards the end. Near the end, there's a shorter bar and then a longer bar. 
So let's see what that's uh, going to do here. Little Juno now is approaching. It. It's coming up to the first bar. Nothing happened. Now it's coming to a second bar, right about now. And then it's going to go back. Now it's moving out. Probably got its bearing from the feed roll. Moved out. Now it's kicking the feed forward. So it. <coughs> Not too many. Well, this is at the trade X. There's more equipment. Let me let me go up front that way. Just look at the door. I'm right there. Good thing it's not snowing and blowing. Then we're What happened? What's happening in Manitoba? But at the end of the day, like I know there was bitching about that. Yeah. Like Wally and the boys over there were complaining about that. But like, okay. So we pay a bit of tax return, right? You and I did. I don't know what you're talking about. My gosh. Look at this thing. Coon. How many? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's quite an offset on that disc. We couldn't just be by here without saying hi. Um. We are now looking down at the Fraser Valley towards Whatcom Road. The cars on the road you see down there are traveling on Whatcom Road North. So that should give yeah, you a bearing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's just pan around here. All the way, now we're looking up the valley towards uh, Chilliwack. Can't quite see much, just to the farm ground. Let's pan back. And now let me get over here and then we'll look towards the border. A whole different view from here.
Now you can see the light blinking in the uh, foreground. Now that is our background there. That is the tower on Moe's Hill at Sumas. Sumas.